Hi everybody, we've got a video to go over all the features of the new 118th scale asphalt late model that we released. So the car we're going to use in this video is a black version car. This does have our 1RC house wrap on it. Note that uh, none of the cars will have this wrap. They'll come with just the standard sticker sheets like the other cars do. So we will offer these cars in the red, black, and clear versions just like the other cars. The chassis is the same as the late model car. So the side rails, all the inner pieces, all that's the same. So one thing we did do on this car is we do have a molded front bumper. This will help um, support the body really good because the body sticks out there quite a ways. This bumper does have uh, two steel pins that will key into the bumper. They'll press into the bumper and then those will press into the front holes on the chassis. The screws that hold this bar normally um, will go through the sides of the bumper and secure it to the car so it's nice and secure. And then it wraps around the, the bottom of the chassis here and it's uh, you know got some angles on it so if you run over stuff it doesn't damage this area. This bumper is a little bit flexible. Uh, we did that on purpose so that when you take some hard shots to the front of the body, this bumper can flex down just a little bit. If this bumper is very rigid, what tends to happen is the body gets folded underneath the bumper and it damages the front of the body. This will let it flex a little bit so it doesn't damage the body as bad. Uh, it will use a new front body mount that screws on to the chassis here. It does not use the air cleaner. There is a body mount over here that extends the hole over a little bit to support this side of the body and then it'll use this hole here and then there's a rear body mount as well. We also did a window net to keep the scale realism as much as possible there. But everything else on here is the same. The side bumper is the same as the late model, uh, engine, headers, battery box, all that kind of stuff. The other big thing we did to this car, uh, it will have uh, tires and new tires and wheels. The wheels will be a stock car style wheel. Uh, the tires are a little bit narrower to make the scale look. And I'll try to get an up close picture of this for you here. But you can see on the tire surface, there is a small pattern on there. So we added that pattern into the tooling of this tire. And what that pattern does is it gives this tire a lot more traction. Uh, we know some people had um, some issues getting the asphalt late model, the smooth tires, hooking up really good on certain surfaces. Uh, certain surfaces they just didn't grip very well. Um, so we added this, this small little pattern on this tire. This drastically helps with the with the traction of the tire. Uh, it acts more like it does like with the with the dirt tires that we have like on the dirt late model. So it's a huge improvement for the tires. Uh, the pattern is very small and it does uh, withstand wear pretty good. I mean, it still will wear out just like the other tires do, but it does it does really increase the traction and the wear is very good. Uh, the car will come with the uh, front flange wheel bearings uh, like we come out with not too long back. Uh, that'll be standard on the car. Uh, the body will have um, uh, the clear rear wing on all the cars. Even the black and the red version will come with a clear rear spoiler. The uh, clear version car and the uh, clear replacement bodies will have uh, window masks. For the body for the front the back and the two sides these side windows here are cut out already um, depending on where you run the car you may have some issues with the front of the body hitting this but you know this nose sticks out a long ways on these cars so this can tend to hit up in this area if it does hit on the way you know if you're on a rougher track or whatever you can just slightly trim the bottom of this nose off just a, just a little bit uh, to give you a little bit more clearance, but it should be just about right. Where We tried to keep it as low as possible because that just gives it the best look. Um, the running gear in this car is exactly the same as the late model. It's got the 8700 with the 10 tooth. It comes with the gray gears. The white gears are the replacement gears. Uh, the one thing we did have to do in the front end of this car, uh, we did release a long version of this 1.5 millimeter driver. Um, this is to get, you can use this also to get to the caster screws up front. Uh, because the body is so long, the little shorter wrench that we have doesn't quite reach those. So we have this, it'll reach that. And also this reaches some of the other hard to reach screws like the driver screws and stuff like that. 
Um, the clear replacement bodies, as I mentioned, they will come with the window masks. We also do have a detail sheet that the cars will come with. Um, this is our red car that we use for some of our photos. And it'll have the uh, grills in the front. It'll have the upper grill, the headlights. We did some um, hood pins right here. We did the window bars, the exhaust, the uh, fuel filler. And then also we did these little trim rings around the side windows. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a better look. You know, most of the cars have those little rings. We also did those for a manufacturing tolerance on these bodies. When they go to, to mold these bodies, uh, sometimes the paint lines don't line up exactly on some of the, you know, the more harder surfaces like these sides. The front and the rear line up pretty good, but sometimes on these side windows they're off just a little bit, so this little trim ring will help kind of cover that up a little bit. Um, and those little, the detail sheets come with the, with the cars and stuff. It does have a new interior panel as well. It'll come with that. Um, it will have, like I said, it will have new tires and wheels. We will, the car will come with the black wheels and the standard compound rubber. We will offer the chrome wheels as well for replacements, an option, and we will have the black and the chrome with the standard rubber and the soft rubber on them. So um, that's all that's new on the new car. Um, like I said, we try to use a lot of the parts from the, the late model car so that you're not buying a ton of new parts. We know you guys appreciate that uh, when we can use parts commonality. Uh, and our dealers love that as well. The just less space they have to have on the wall for all kinds of new parts, but um, there are a few new parts. If you have any questions on any of these or questions on the car itself um, or any other questions in general for us, just hit us up on the email on our social media pages or our website um, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, should be a really fun car to race. Uh, and all of our testing that we've done, we had a blast racing these. You can really race side by side, just kind of like the late model cars. Um, and they work really good. Um, you know, the new, the new addition to the tires makes the cars work really, really good for different surfaces. So uh, enjoy the cars. Like I said, if you have any questions, let us know. And keep watching our website and social media pages for more new stuff to come. Thanks for watching.